with Lucas Versace. something a little bit differently this time around. So we're not necessarily going to review these two sauces, but we're going to compare them. Now, you're asking what are these two sauces? Well, this is Sweet Baby Ray's, very popular. Um, really doesn't need much of an introduction. Everyone is Pretty familiar with this sauce, pretty standard at most places that serve, <laughs> most restaurants, most food trucks, most fast food, uh, fast food places. But this, however, this is getting to become a little more popular nowadays. Now you're wondering what this is. This is called bachan. This is the original Japanese barbecue sauce. Now when I say original, I mean flavor and texture not so much as it's original. But don't get me wrong, because they have other flavors, just like how this has different flavors. So, but these two, this is pretty much a comparison of American barbecue sauce versus Japanese barbecue sauce. And what we're gonna do is, we have four pieces of Publix fried chicken um, that I just warmed up out of the convention oven. And uh, we're going to taste test this. And we're going to taste test this. Now the goal of this video is to give you guys my honest to God opinion on the comparison of these two sauces and how I feel about both of them individually. So it'll kind of be like a review. But ideally, the whole purpose is to kind of like show the difference. Now, first thing you'll notice is that the Japanese ha -ha barbecue sauce is a little more viscous and thinner than the American barbecue sauce. So that in itself will definitely differentiate in the flavor and the texture of all of this. So let's go ahead and dip right into the American sauce.
very bold, very smoky. I definitely recommend putting this kind of sauce on stuff like hamburgers, hot dogs, steaks. Definitely chicken nuggets and french fries. American hot uh, barbecue sauce. It's so universal, you can really put it on anything. With the exception of ramen. Unfortunately, it does not taste as great as one would hope. However, if you use the Japanese barbecue sauce in the ramen, it's a whole different ball game. Let me cleanse my palate. Just this with regular water. All right, now I got the chicken that's dipped in the Japanese barbecue sauce. Okay, I'm gonna be real chop boys and gals and all of my non-gender conforming friends. A thousand percent honest with y'all. This is really fucking gas. Sorry about that. There was a little piece of bone in there. Let me say this about Japanese barbecue sauce. It's definitely a lot sweeter. It's definitely a lot saltier. But it's definitely got a pretty great taste. But it's very vastly different to the American barbecue sauce. So... You know, they're both great, but they're great for two separate reasons. Now, obviously, the comparison being is that they're both barbecue sauces, but when you have something like this, it's a little more thicker. Um, you know, you can pretty much marinate anything with this. Same thing, you can marinate anything with this. The only difference is how you marinate to begin with. This is a lot more thinner. You can just... Boom. This you actually have to get a little brush and kind of like get in between everything and really take your time with it. But with the Japanese barbecue sauce, you can really only use it for so many things. This, for example, Japanese barbecue sauce and fried chicken is actually gas. But that's my honest opinion. But this would not necessarily taste great.
unless you were to follow one of Bachad's recipes. You know, this is not something you put, it's not like this where you can put on french fries or hamburgers or hot, or I said hot dogs, yep. certain things. Steak, yes, 100% you can make a really fantastic steak using this as a marinade, hands down. But that's just one of the few things you can use it for. Ramen, I guess sometimes we would have to have a certain amount of meat in the ramen or the chow mein even, you know? I guess it's all based on individual preferences. I may have to start. It's kind of hard considering my legs broken for the time being, but I really would. Consider using this bad boy and other stuff. Maybe on a Pokeball. Should I decide to ever have a Pokeball? Or, you know, make one, review one at a restaurant, doesn't really matter. But I definitely did want to do a little something different tonight. The last time I reviewed the sauce was almost a year ago. Anyway, gel boys, I'm going to end this video for the time being. I may have a look in my mom. I have 100% definitely looking up my mom. My bad. You got, you got me doing MediHuman right now. A, a review. Rather, a comparison. Do you want to make a brief guest appearance? No. Okay. Can you at least help me out by stop pressing record? Alright, y'all boys. Peace in the Middle East. You just gotta click that square button right there. This one? No, no, no. On the camera. On the phone, there's a square button. Yep, there you go.